Hello, and welcome back to the Learning Happy Hour at Palo Alto Networks. Today, we are covering ML-based inline prevention. Every second matters. My name is Luke Teeters. I am a systems engineer for Palo Alto Networks. And I am Patrick Bradley. I am a security training engineer with Palo Alto Networks. Awesome. So let's get right into it. So uh, turning to our security subscriptions, a huge focus on PanOS 10 is on delivering faster prevention of new threats and doing it in a way that provides better security and pre preserves the user experience. We'll see how customers will now have the ability for the first time ever to leverage machine learning models running directly on the physical and virtual firewalls powered by wildfire malware analysis, as well as the URL subscription to stop new threats in line in milliseconds. This is incredible technology and I'm very excited to cover this today. So yeah. Patrick, yes. let's start with the two, uh, the two critical advantages that attackers have over the blue team. Okay, yeah, so the biggest issue, of course, is uh, identifying and stopping unknown threats, right? When we know the threats, that's pretty easy to do, just have to have the signatures. But millions of cyber threats are being, uh, are emerging every, every year. And so uh, organizations have to race to prevent this. And how do you prevent it when you don't know what it is, right? So the, the challenge that we have as trying to prevent this is that the attackers have the advantage of speed, right? They, uh, they can leverage all kinds of things, cloud scale, uh, automation, uh, and just, just honestly getting better at what they do, their techniques. And the other one is polymorphism. So one of the things that uh, we talk about in, in training is that it's advanced persistent threats are generally done through multiple methods. And if you are creating new tools as an attacker and throwing them in, and changing the way that you are attacking. So your posture is changing. We have to be able to be able to, to catch that and we fall behind because we don't know actually what we're looking for. So that polymorphism is and combined with that speed makes it really difficult to thwart the attackers as they attack us with new and you know, creative ways of getting to us. So, right. and we all know that the attacker just needs to be right one time <laughs> to get through. <laughs> and progress their goals. That's true, yes. So what's the approach we take? What do we do? Right, so the approach we take at Polish Networks is to prevent and stop everything we know is bad and inspect everything else in parallel to deliver accurate prevention as fast as possible. So we do leverage infinite scale of the cloud as well with, with our wildfire cloud-based malware analysis system, URL filtering, DNS security, to analyze the threats, um, and scale the prevention. Um, we also integrate our intelligence sources from our partners and alliances as well uh, to, uh, and, and also our, our UNIT 42 research team. So uh, this has been a tremendously successful uh, tool for our customers and we've reduced the time from detecting an unknown uh, to delivering the uh, protection in, in mere minutes. And you know we think that's the fastest in the industry but speed is the name of the game and every second is critical. And we wanted to shrink that time down even more. So with PanOS 10.0, um, we are now getting uh, instantaneous verdicts uh, at line speed. So you know, uh, we are not a proxy. We are seeing packets traverse the box line speed. Right. So uh, this is incredible technology. This, this is... Um, this is something that is, is an industry first. Mm -hmm. um, so essentially powered by our wildfire and URL filtering cloud-based subscriptions, we are delivering inline machine learning at the network level directly on the firewall. Um, using a patented signatureless approach, we can prevent unknown weaponized files, credential phishing and malicious scripts instantly <laughs> without holding the files or web pages and without compromising business productivity. This is incredible. So just for um, a second on that, just to kind of, you know, the idea of signatureless approach, uh, that is that is unheard of. I mean, that really is not the way that we've done this for, for many, many, many years. So the idea of having right. the box be smart enough to actually detect and uh, and then not only detect the threat itself, but, but learn from it and be able to detect variants without signatures is a, uh, it's just a leap forward, to be honest. Oh, so, for sure. 
This architecture enables us to identify variants of known malware in real time. And uh, we can make decisions with requiring cloud analysis um, and we don't need to hold the file at all. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I found very interesting was that uh, we analyzed files over several months and determined that if all customers had this inline machine learning uh, turned on with Pan OS 10, um, up to 95% of those common web-based threats uh, would have been prevented instantly. So, you know, we're always at the race against patient zero. You know, with, with the previous um, releases of Pan OS, you know, there would be a patient zero potentially because we would have to submit that sample to the wildfire cloud and a verdict would have to then be distributed. It was a five minute gap, you know, there was a patient zero and now you have to rely on other things like, you know, Cortex XDR on the endpoint, um, et cetera. Okay. Five minutes was good, but five minutes is a very long time when you're in a zero day attack. <laughs> so as they, right. it propagates and spreads, so. Right, so, um, you know, this is great, Luke. You're making a lot of claims here. <laughs> well, let's talk about how it worked, okay? Um, uh, so there were 9.6 billion malware attacks in, in 2019, and there was 38,000 variants of Emotet in the first half of 2019, based on our Unit 42 uh, numbers here. So- One threat. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. So while machine learn, uh, while ML-based prevention is instant, Scan files are simultaneously routed uh, to wildfire for, for analysis as well. So the data still makes its way to wildfire in the cloud for that signature, but if it's determined to be uh, malicious on the, uh, on, at line speed, it's able to be prevented. Right. Later in today's episode, we'll actually take a look at uh, how you turn this on, right? It's very simple um, and it, it's, it's actually part of the same security profiles that you use today. Um, but basically, the long and the short of it is, as these samples are submitted to wildfire, um, our uh, data analysis teams will actually build these trained models and send them down to the firewall. So the firewall gets these trained models and it gets better and better as we get more and more data and more and more understanding as to what these uh, malicious, verdicts, uh, malicious, malicious verdict files are actually doing. Right. So what's the upshot of that? Like, how does that improve overall, right? What are we looking at then? Decreasing those false positives, right? I mean, a lot of, you know, I, I don't like when people say machine learning is a, bu a buzzword because it's a real technology, right? Oh, Clearly, <laughs> it's yeah. people, you know, for the longest time, for the last 10 years, oh, machine learning, AI, buzzwords. It's not, you know, yes, it's a buzzword. There's a lot of buzzwords. This is real technology. There's real data scientists out there that, you know, PhDs, there, there's people out there that are dedicated to, to this technology. So this is something that needs to be done um, in order to close the gap of patient zero. Right. I think What's people, that? sometimes you hear those buzzwords and they think like Skynet or something. And actually what we're doing here is providing a <laughs> right. much faster, a much more effective uh, with high accuracy, real-time threat prevention. And that, that is what the, that's really the, the point of all this is that protecting ourselves from threats, known threats, that's easy. Unknown threats that are constantly changing. I mean, just the idea of 30,000 variants of Emotet alone is- <laughs> I know, right? Sort of teaches it. But so, I guess what it means for us though, is what? Like we, um, if let's, so let's say if we're, we're successfully employing or deploying this and uh, we're getting the cloud-based analysis, we're getting uh, all of these different devices are, are uh, participating in this gathering of knowledge and intelligence. So um, what is the benefit to all of us in terms of how accurate or how uh, successful this is? Well, the more data, the more we can build these trained models, um, the more accurate we're gonna get, the more happy the customer is going to be because they're not gonna be getting hit with malware on their endpoints, right? Right. Um, so it gets better, right? So we talked about samples of files, right? But what about URL-based attacks, right? This is also a problem. Thousands of brand new phishing attacks are launched every day. 30% of phishing emails are opened within 60 seconds of being sent. These are alarming numbers. This is bad. Stop clicking. It's bad. Stop it. right. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> right. So, you know, we're all training our users, you know, again, right? Um, 
URL threats are a little different, right? Someone could type in their credentials. You know, that's a different type of attack than getting a mail or payload down to your endpoint. Um, so the URL filtering subscription enables machine learning directly on the firewall as well. Uh, stopping never seen before phishing and JavaScript attacks in line and preventing these attacks from being unleashed onto your organization. Malicious URLs are identified in milliseconds and blocked instantly without a chance to infect your organization. If a URL is not deemed to be malicious, it is passed onto the URL filtering cloud and detailed analysis is determined for proper categorization. So again, yeah. um, you know, you and I could go out and buy a domain. We can spin up a Linux server in, in the cloud and we could start sending, you know, phishing emails out and people click them. It's new, never before seen. Right. This needs to be identified as fast as possible so we can block it. Okay. Right. Awesome. So um, let's show basically how easy it is to configure. Um, but before we do that, there's one final thing I wanted to show. And it's basically the, um, the wildfire update went from that five minute uh, seed file being downloaded and, and, and placed on the box to a real time uh, stream very similar to our URL filtering. So basically what that means is if a organization down the street sends a malicious file to the cloud, it's determined to be malicious. Well, now your firewall will actually have a real-time stream of those files um, instead of a five-minute update. So, you know, if someone else was hit, you're gonna get it real-time. If you're hit, no one else has seen it before. Now you have machine learning at line speed as well as the dynamic analysis in wildfire. Once it's determined to be malicious, now everyone else has it real-time. So it's a very, um, very fast and reliable solution to preventing uh, these, you know, malware attacks on, on your company. Yeah, so zero day attacks don't get much time to actually be zero day. And that's, that's the point, right? Keeping it from spreading, arming yourself. Right. And, so. and over the years, we've been continually evolving and reducing the response time for these verdicts, right? right. It, you know, we went from days in the beginning to hours to minutes. <laughs> and most recently now, now um, so. real time. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, we're getting better. So single digit seconds, right? So yeah. Right. So let's um let's pivot over to um my lab here. Okay. And let's take a look at how hard it is to turn this on. You know, no you guys have all this great technology. How do you turn it on? So it's the first thing I wanted to show. Hard. No. <laughs> <laughs> so simply if you go to your objects tab on your firewall or panorama and you take a look at your security profiles, right? The first uh, security profile we're going to pick on is antivirus. So let's go ahead and double click into um, IFBP-antivirus best practices, okay? Um, what I'd like to show is that there are three columns here. So let's go ahead and put arrows. Um, this column here is the uh, threat prevention update, right? A 24-hour update of uh, known bad files. If you are a wildfire subscriber, this is the wildfire action. So if you do have that real time configured, you're going to have a real time update for wildfire uh, uh, signatures. This column here on the right is the new machine learning action. Okay, so again, this is like instantaneous verdicts at line speed. Okay, so you turn it all on. That's great. Um, but now you can actually double click into this wildfire inline ML section here and actually take a look at these models. So we actually have a Windows executables um, to dynamically identify malicious portable executable files and the action setting. We have two PowerShell scripts, one and two. One is for known length and one is for um, uh, without a known length. And the bottom here, we actually have a machine learning engine uh, to dynamically detect malicious elk files. So this is all within the same antivirus profile that you guys use today with 9.1 and below. Oh, real and <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's so simple to turn on, right? I mean, yeah. all the things that we just talked about, all the machine learning, crazy technology, you know, I, I want to use it. You basically just modify your antivirus uh, profile and you're good to go. Next, we're going to pivot over to the URL filtering. Now URL filtering, I also have a BP URL filtering. And as you can see, we have a column here for inline ML. This is going to give you the phishing and the JavaScript exploit detection um, for your URLs, right? So machine learning engine to dynamically identify credential phishing pages and machine learning engine to dynamically detect JavaScript-based exploitation attacks. 
So again, very simple to turn on uh, with PanOS 10.0 and above. Yeah, simple, but extremely powerful. All right, so that's what we wanted to show today. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Learning Happy Hour at Palo Alto Networks. We will come back uh, shortly with another episode. And uh, if you have any suggestions, leave a comment uh, below and uh, have a great day. Yep, thanks everybody. Be safe.